Let's talk about the Amish. Yesterday, I drove to Lancaster County. I drove to Amish country. I drove from house to house to house. I actually went to the house of a relative of Gideon King. He's the one person, the only known person in the Amish community who supposedly died from COVID that I'm aware of. Now, they say there may be up to five people in Lancaster County who died from COVID, but I was unable to get the names of five people. I offered $2,500 reward on Twitter. Hey, give me the names of more than five people in Lancaster County who died from COVID. Not a single person was able to name more than one person. They all named Gideon King. One guy. So I talked to the, I, I actually went to the house of Sam King, who's a, a relative of, of Gideon King, and I talked to Sam. He doesn't know if Gideon actually died from COVID or not. They die, he died in the hospital. They think it was COVID, but maybe he died from the COVID hospital protocols. Okay, so you look at the Amish. I did the calculation. Let's say there were five Amish people. Because people say, I, I think there were maybe a few or, or maybe there were five Amish people. But you know, and then I asked them, okay, can you name them? And nobody can name them. But let's say that we could name them. And there were five Amish people who died. That means the Amish died at a rate 90 times lower than the infection fatality rate of the United States of America. The Amish died at 90 times lower rate from COVID than America, than the rest of America. Now, how is that possible? It's possible because the Amish aren't vaccinated and because the Amish didn't follow a single guideline of the CDC. They did not lock down they did not mask. They did not social distance. They did not vaccinate. And there were no mandates in the Amish community to get vaccinated. They basically ignored every single guideline that the CDC gave us. Ignoring those guidelines meant a death rate 90 times lower than the rest of America. So you talk about taking guidance from the WHO. Why don't we copy what works? In fact, wouldn't it be great to say in the net, next pandemic that Pennsylvania will take guidance from the Amish instead of the WHO, and you will be much, much better off.